This morning, counterterrorism officials are on heightened alert in anticipation of the first anniversary of Osama bin Laden's death. There is concern that terrorists could be planning a revenge attack on or near the anniversary, which is on Wednesday. Meanwhile, bin Laden's family has been deported from Pakistan, where they were living illegally with the al-Qaeda leader. Joining us now from Washington, D.C. is James Lamond, research director from the National Security Network. We thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. U.S. officials said Thursday they see no credible or specific terrorist threat, but there has been an increase of chatter from al-Qaeda's affiliate in Yemen. How concerned should we be? Well, while there is no actual credible or specific threat, often around anniversaries uh, or specific dates, there is, there is an increase in concern. And we know that al-Qaeda remains intent on uh, at least attempting to attack the United States. So I think there is a, a a reason for concern. How prepared are we for another attack? Well, we've, we've made a lot of changes over the years uh, at that to, to our Homeland Security uh, uh, system that, have, uh, that has uh, resulted in a lot of improvements. Uh, I think both uh, our citizenry and our uh, public officials are, are, are remain vigilant and aware about what's going on. Well, now that his family, uh, Osama bin Laden's family, has been deported to Saudi Arabia and they're out of Pakistan, do you think they'll be more willing to share information about how bin Laden was able to evade capture for nearly 10 years? Well, the family was interrogated following uh, the initial raid last year. I, I think I, I would be surprised if we didn't start to hear more from the family now that they're released from uh, captivity in Pakistan. Uh, they're, I think also that um, the one place where we will be seeing lots of uh, more information start to leak out is as analysis continues to drip out from the, uh, quote, treasure trove of intelligence that was gathered following the raid. What do we know about them? What specifics do we know? Well, we know that they're, they were living with, uh, uh, with Osama bin Laden at the compound in Abbottabad. Uh, we know that they had been there for several years and... Uh, we know that, that uh, many of them remain loyal to Osama bin Laden throughout, throughout, his, uh, throughout his life. On Thursday, a, a federal judge refused to order the release of the pictures and the video of the operation that killed Osama bin Laden. From a security perspective, was that the right decision? I think so. I think it's a tough choice. We, uh, we have a tendency to, to overclassify items in the United States, um, so it's important for groups to continue to uh, challenge uh, these sorts of things. But ultimately, I think that um, the president's initial call and the judge's uh, upholding of that to not release the, the was a right call. It is not the right move to use this as a trophy. Uh, the results could easily uh, endanger particularly American troops in Afghanistan and elsewhere. Well, James Lamond, Research Director from the National Security Network, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me.